The Holt Heritage Museum and Ranch stands off Highway 12 across the road from Traveler's Rest, a stopping off point for the Lewis and Clark Expedition. This is Lewis and Clark Trail, and that was a gathering place for people for centuries. Long before Lewis and Clark, native tribes, including the Blackfeet, Nez Perce, and Salish, moved east and west across these hills. They all uh, would meet here uh, as they're going from one direction to the other. Ramona Holt and her late husband, Bill, knew their ranch was a special place to house a museum. Their collections span 67 years of their marriage. So we can preserve the future of the past. Their background reads like a Renaissance couple of the West. Bill was a rancher, veterinarian, auctioneer, rodeo competitor, and rodeo announcer. He always loved the Western way of life. Ranch raised Ramona was a top rodeo competitor in all-girl rodeo. That's a sculpture done uh, depicting me in the early years by Ace Powell's son, Dave Powell. She was the first woman west of the Mississippi to receive a master's degree in fisheries management. I started a commercial fish hatchery. I raised rainbow trout. They were the first ranchers to export longhorn cattle to Australia. They raised horses and four boys on the ranch. Ramona and Bill saw housing their vision of Western history by converting their horse farm into the museum. The museum has an extensive collection of one of Montana's most famous Western artists, sculptor Bob Scriver. Depicting rodeo, and it's called The Honest Try. His work captures snapshots of wild rides frozen in time. He never used a camera. He always said that his eye was his camera. This bronze depicts uh, Jim Shoulders who won 16 world championships. There's famous rodeo producer Oral Zumwalt. There's memorabilia from the 14th annual Oral Zumwalt Rodeo. Bill announced it, of course, and it was up Miller Creek. Then there are the boots, Bill's boots, and hundreds more. The Holtz were good friends of former President Ronald Reagan. He said, you want a fancy one, or do you want one I use? We said, we'd rather have one you use. And this is what he brought us. Well, you know, we all know Roy Rogers. Well, Dale Evans was just as important. And this is a pair of her boots. The museum showcases several celebrities. Tom Mix from Hollywood's silent era. And Ramona has a special tie to the singing cowboy. Gene Autry. He's very special because he is my great uncle. Saddles are prominently displayed here. Starting with the cavalry. There's the vis-a-vis. -vis. It's a carriage where they face each other. A special room showcases the Native American collection, a Crow woman's ceremonial saddle, and a native polywog shirt revered as magical and only worn by medicine men or warriors. The natives thought that it was magic because the polywog turned into a frog. There are at least 5,000 items in the museum but Ramona has plans to begin a campaign to double its size. The Holt Heritage Center nonprofit will house more exhibits and offer more public space for entertainment and education. We're going to have workshops. We're going to have an audiovisual uh, studio so they can make their own films. Ramona especially wants to expose more children to the history of the West. Every year, in honor of her late husband Bill, the center will have a community gathering called the Roundup. It's the Cowboy Way. The Cowboy Way is a handshake. A handshake, she says, is about trusting your neighbor and enjoying what's around you. Good advice along the Lolo Trail. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.